Hey, if I was somebody else, well, it's Fennan. And welcome to Dark Side Detective. We're gonna jump into the first case. And what I know about this game is very little. We will be a detective. There might be some paranorm paranormal phenomena. And uh, it has funny sense of humor. And I'm looking forward um, to it. So. Okay, so listen. For the settings to already crack me up, right? Look. Audio settings, yes, this is what I was looking for. Language. Yeah, whatever. I can understand, so it's good. And then police corruption on. I was like, I've never played this game before, so I have no idea if this is something important, but it's in the settings, so I wanted to toggle it. See if it's toggle off? Just what the heck is happening? And still on. This is going nowhere. You should give up on this. You don't learn, do you? And we go back to this. So I already made me laugh. Okay. Uh, this also is nice, but I'm not gonna change it right now because I am afraid that the stream will explode. Uh, but it also has funny names of uh, your computer can't run this, etc. So yeah, yeah. Through the settings, it's already really, really funny. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Malice in Wonderland. Oh, volume 13, like 13th, Friday 13th, like it is today. Uh, Twin Lakes Police System, Volume 13, Malice in Wonderland. Case Summary. The Chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Sorry, the font is quite hard for me to read out loud. Let's start the investigation. As always, please let me know if the audio levels, etc. are good. Looks about right. So, Officer Dooley. Dooley? I think so. Malice. Tips Fedora. Oh my god. Whoa, I almost shot you there. Detective. Oh, yeah. Is it British accent? Mm hmm. Whoa! <laughs> I almost shot you there. Detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drove. <laughs> drive up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had my siren on. <laughs> you waved at me as I pulled in. <laughs> I guess this place has me spooked out a little. Okay. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven year old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Maybe she's still inside. Have you checked? Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. I can go inside. I can still talk with... Okay. So this is how it looks like. Okay. We have some kind of notes. No, we don't. Um, after you, detective, you know, whenever standing in this rain... S whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. I believe I had games back in 1993 that had more pixels. Yeah, it is It is pixelated art style, yes. Love this old LucasArts style graphics. Yeah, it has charm to it. We'll see if they have... Oh, no, no. When they're talking, they don't have more detail, right? Yeah, they don't. They don't. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it uh, the Popomoto. <laughs> Okay, I love it. Screenshot that. Because I love calling police Popo. So Popo Moto is... Yes. Yes. Uh, Alright. So. We talked with you. No other things to look around. Let's go inside. Let's not overthink that too much. Alright. Roy Jones. Officer Dooley. Why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? I'm sorry, I can't keep my face straight. How dare you? I'm not a hobo. I'm here to help you. Um, that's Detective Francis McQueen. Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. <laughs> Who has a chair at the bottom of the stairs? Um, I don't want to be rude. But somebody who gets very, very tired after... Stepping down the stairs? Question mark. 
Maybe he has one upstairs too. That would make more, make more sense. It's a big foyer, okay? What? Well, you need some furniture inside big houses, I would assume. I love oh Mac Queen. What a wonderful, fabulous surname. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? Fuck you. I really don't like you. I will talk shit about your painting. Nice schooner. <laughs> you dummy, it's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. What's a schooner? A schooner is a sailboat, Julie. I guess I don't know. I guess I do know. He's having the wine, having the smoke. Your daughter, young one, missing. And you're having the smoke? So how can I help you, detective? How about filling me in to whatever happened here? It's a type of a boat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. Because she's a child? She's seven. Yeah, exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. But it's your blood, and you call it tedious, okay. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was out. Where's the mother? How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. Oh, that type. Schooner. Mm. Mm -mm. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, now I understand. I know Schooner. Thank you. Thank you for checking that in uh, Google Translate. Thank you, thank you. Now everything is perfectly clear. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Basti Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's on memories. The fuck? I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? Okay. Oh, matches, of course. Every time from brothels, there are matches. I know why. Okay, thank you. I've taken up enough of your time. And I have nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. What a dick. Can I look at it? These are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Booty boutique is. Mm. Booty boutique. This kid didn't win out in the father's stakes. Yeah. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Actually, yeah. I just assumed it's different times and back, way back when you might not remember, but I do. Uh, people smoked inside and the ceiling got yellow, etc. So, thankfully, detective, I am rarely around my kid. Thankfully. Oh, God bless. That's perfect. Okay, great. Awesome. Oh, that's a cutie booty. All right, a hallway? Or upstairs? No. The design is quite... Worrying. Okay, maybe not worrying. Oh, okay. Disorientating. Box of junk. Hmm. A black light bulb. May as well take it. Sure. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes and fat beads. Then we've got ourselves a good night. Good night is finding the skin. Officer. Box of junk. And nothing else. Okay. Quit it. What? Are you stealing this man's spare ball? No. Just taking it. Without permission. A uh, grandfather clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? <laughs> what? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I am interesting. What have you said, detective? Mm. Alrighty then. Study locked. I'm wondering where I'd find the key. Dips, the child is inside. We'll see. Chandelier. One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We can take one. Not saying no to this idea. You uh, you passed the corruption test. 
Well done, detective. <laughs> I was just a test. Mm. Nice. Very good. It's a very nice clock. It's a huge one. Why is it called actually a uh, grandfather's clock? Do you know? No idea. So we did this. Can we go upstairs? Yes, we can. Uh, flowers. Fresh ones. Place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Not fresh ones. But that tells me that the dad <laughs> is a single dad. There is no woman's touch here, I think. Bold claim. Attic for later, telephone, an old school one. What time is it? I don't know which year is it. The Oxford English Dictionary states that the popular 18th. Uh, 1876 song My Grandfather's Clock is responsible for the common name Grandfather Clock being applied to the long case clock. The more you know. And I think it's a very good source. Holy moly, thank you for checking that again. Nice, awesome. The more you know. Perfect. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. Draw? What do you mean? Learning. Yeah, it's the learning channel. <laughs> Mrs. Jones. Oh, is it the mother actually? Do you know that your husband is going to uh, booty boutique? Bells something booty boutique. No? Sorry. They don't want to be the first to break the news. So there's Teddy. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, no nothing bear. Oh, this will kill you at night, okay? I'm sorry, but what is that coming out of the top of the drawer? It is not a condom. It's probably a sock. No, no. It is a sock, probably. Most likely. Let's check it. I don't have much use for those in pink socks. It's not pink. So it's not a sock. But we are assuming it's a sock. Pens. It's no time for art, detective. Black light. This looks useful. Black light marker. Also something that you can't see, Hello, but... Beautiful. Hello, Leonis. How are you doing? Tell me everything. I look for something that isn't your food. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> How dare you. It's not the same. Um, I'm glowing. Thank you. Thank you. So the black light marker, something that you can probably write with and then it is it shows when you use the black light, I would assume. Man, a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB. No dilly, don't do that. APB is probably the person who's drawing in bullies. Tony, I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Oh yeah. I didn't even... yeah! <laughs> Actually, one, two, three... It has four! It has four, but there's something wrong with this pony. It's a child's drawing, okay? Oh, your arms look spectacular! I am getting compliments for years! Thank you! Thank you! And Nogi, your ash... ashes... Lashes look fantastic, I'm very sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. I'm, it's not a threat. I'm sorry. APB is an all points bulletin, so I can want it level, I guess. Oh, thank you. The more we know. <gasps> I'm dazzling. Thank you. Thank you, Lunas. Tell me, how are you doing today? I've been cremated alive. Cheers to that. That doesn't happen every other Friday. I am lazy. Good. Good. Let yourself be lazy. I'm good. Uh, enjoying my Friday. How did the move go? Did you finish moving? What you drinking? It's a fun color. How does it look like? Oh yeah, it looks crazy. Mm, it is red grapefruit. No branding. But yeah. Very red. Actually, it's the same color as the drink. Crazy. I like bitter stuff. Yes. I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. Five quid to see me bomb. Stupid not to. Sorry. 
Some of my favorite memes. Okay, maybe we should talk to the mother. I assume it's a mother. I'm not sure. Hello, can I ask? My baby! My baby is gone! Okay. Can you calm down, please? Can you tell me about Anne? She just disappeared, my baby! Okay. Is there anything? You have to find her! Oh. You got the drill. Alright, so... It's a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off too. Nothing else in this room. Any bedroom? Can we change? No? Okay. Like the perspective, something? No. Seems not. Okay. Master bedroom this time. Oh, I didn't think there would be another person here. Alright, so we have a photo. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her detective. Um, a soul... The portrait in the bedroom is fine, but of a soul person out of the couple? Kinda weird. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. What would happen if we came here before going to the child's bedroom? Would we have the same comment? Interesting. You have been into detective games for a while, Fen. What happened to horror? We're gonna ease into horror. Ease into horror. I really like detective games. Uh, these are just like funny, more on the funny side, and light-hearted and easy to finish. But uh, yeah, we're gonna pick up something a little bit spookier later. This one, this actually should have some hmm, unnatural phenomena. We'll see, we'll see. I think it was supposed to have some kind of ghosts on, in them. But I, I do remember request this. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, the stress of all this has hit her hard. It's very really hard to see. But I can imagine. It's a bed. A water bed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Strange page. Nani, you are already sus. Family photo. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Why are they never depicted as one family? Seems impolite to go riffling around in somebody's drawers and invite it. Nani, can you go away <laughs> so I can go through the drawers? Slenderman find my pages. Have you guys played Slenderman way back when? I did. And I was super spooked by it. It's kind of silly now, but I was super spooked. Tell me about Alice. Nani McFiend. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's a nanny doing something? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siri? Mm, siri? What's a nanny doing in the master's bedroom? Oh, you kicked the page, okay? I saw you do that. How long have you been working for the Jones? John is this detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's not really the best time. It's always a good time for grandma. Anyway, answer the question. Tell me. No, he's not right, is he? Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Sus. Sus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely, what Nogi. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. A rope, I want to say, said. But yeah, with the apostrophe. Say, so you're the nanny. A very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. <laughs> May I have the key to the study then? Sure. There's nothing incriminating in there anyway. Yeah, all the incriminating things are here. Goodbye. We're done here, for now. I'll get back to work. And nothing else. She's trying to hide something. What was in the page? It's a peculiar pattern from the occult for Dummy's book. Hmm. Hmm. Alright then. Can I do something? No, not on the watch. Downstairs and the study was somewhere here, right? We couldn't get to. Yeah, 
precisely. Is this how it works? Okay, yeah. And hey, presto, we're in. All right. An armchair, another one, and a fancy one, and an olive green one. I would love to have that kind of one. I do have an armchair. After years and years of wanting one, I do have my mustard yellow armchair. It's exactly what I wanted, and I'm super happy about it. But I love armchairs in general. I think it's just so fancy. Hey, I just realized that there are only two seats in this entire house. Don't be daft, Tuli. There are more. They're just off camera. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Perfect. Perfect for me rewatching the Deadpools. Nice. Dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Yeah, good thinking. Lantern. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. Oh. That's a classic oh, horror. Hi, Mark. <gasps> Hello. Oh, hi, Ace. Hi. How are you doing? Good to see you. A bookshelf. A nice collection of books. Never read ones, right? The dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time. Fouché. Touché. Oh, but there is magazine stuck too. Stop right there, criminal scum. Alrighty then. It will come in handy in the future, but I can just show you my hands if you want to. Thank you for using that. I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing very, very well, thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, health, good, happy, good. I mean happiness levels, yes. Good, and I hope it stays that way. Hope it's the same for you. You stole a bulb. No, I didn't. It's important for an investigation. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. Oh, it's actually jugs. Yeah, another lovely pair. Mm. <laughs> Even I understood that there was a jug there. Okay, it's not the jugs. It was supposed to, you know, make you think of something else. A painting. Roy Johns, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Nice drugs. It does. It does take a certain type of person. Okay, so that's all. It seems. But can I put the light bulb in somewhere? Feels like we've seen everything. You can never trust a thrust. Trust a man who owns too many books. That's what I say. How many books are you? Are too many? Six? <laughs> and how many books do you own? I feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> of course. So, just to make sure anything... An old oil lantern. Okay, right-clicking doesn't do anything. I could try to... I should probably light this thing. You know, just in case. So I connected items. And these are not a lit lantern. It gave us. Okay. Roy Jones. Oh, okay. Misclick. Lit lantern. But we haven't been to any dark place, have we? There's a strange page. Can't do anything about it. Black light marker. Not on my watch. And a black, black light bulb. Okay, so where could we possibly use it then? Maybe somebody moved? Closet. Box of junk. We're not using that anywhere here. Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed a backup. I see. No, thank you. Not necessarily. The living room. He's still here. Nothing has changed. Let's go upstairs. At the attic? We haven't been to the attic yet. Maybe this is where we need the lamp. That might be the case. I'm not sure. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Why do I need the How are these connected? Boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Oh. Broken shelf. Oh, yeah. Looks like this gave away recently. Spilling paint thinner all over the wall. 
Okay. Okay. Paint scenery, yummy. No. I don't condone this message. This look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. And a red paint cans. Mm. Broken lamp. <gasps> bulb. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. <laughs> I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shape. What do you mean? <gasps> Ooh, what the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. It's a dark side doorway. Oh boy. Books marked Anna's broken dreams. Perfect. Okay. So, let's check it out. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Do it. Do it. I think this is connected to it, isn't it? I seem to have an, to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Nether portal, kinda yeah. Oh, okay. So we need this one, and then this one it looks, and then this square thing. I assume it's this one. Yeah, easy peasy. That should be it. Okay. Great question mark. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing well anything really. No, we're going. Even though I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. But luckily we do have a light. So, okay, Dooley, let's do this. Yes, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll uh, stand guard out there. Or out here, I'm not sure. Oh, hello, Alice. Hello. Baby's first cold robes. It's a weird place, isn't it? Hello, Alice. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Can I investigate the whole place? Is it the mirrored world? Is it... The upside down. This looks like the other attic, right down to the broken shelf. Except that it's all blue and cold here. Will she be pink once we get outside from here? Attic door. There seems to be manic, manic, manic giggling on the other side. I'm glad this door seems secure. Pile of junk. Don't look there, mister. That's where three eyed rats hide. I wanna see. Okay. Crash and bang! Not so fast, detective. <gasps> Where's Dooley? That idiot? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh. I intend to. I'm he her. Here. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Uh huh. I see where it's going. I need the sip sip. I think she's planning on having something happen to the parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now in Alice if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Oh, it's easy peasy. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the deal, did he? I think that this is some kind of comment on society. Sadly, fair. Oh, so as what well, this is, I am an inheritance scheme. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is actually, yeah. Nobody would find them. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dolly wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. 
Mm, good point. I just have to get you to drag him into here with you. Come on. <laughs> Will I? No. Oh, Dooley, no. Okay, drag your friend in here. And no funny business. Just screw up one of the sigils. The morning doorway. Can't go back through. I'll have to think of something else. And fast. Paint thinner. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a rookie mistake. Why? Have a taste of your own medicine. Oh, I was pointing at something else. No! Okay, easy. Well, that's the problem solvent. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Mm, okay, mister. No, thank you for saving me. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. That's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid. And steal all the older cash. Honestly, is it a big loss to the society? I don't think so. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the old books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. In case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Right, yeah. How to lie. Okay, that was the first case. By hard. Poltergeist. Bates model. Mm. This is the type of game. Okay, so. Case number two. Tome alone. Case summary. Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have seen the strange storm gathering over it. Hmm. Do you guys play Call of Cthulhu or know about Call of Cthulhu? It gives me a little bit of this kind of vibe. Lovecraftian. Ooh. Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? Oh, I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing about the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Oh, come on now, detective. You're hardly gonna arrest the weather. The things you'll try to do justify this department. Let's get this over with. Okay. The statues. These statues make an uncom uh, make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was the library, it was where the my mayor kept her lion collection. Alright, that clears that up, so... Perfect, okay. Plague, this is a library. What a helpful plague. Good. Not very obvious, I would say. This is the same, okay. Okay, I don't like flashing, so let's go inside. Silence. Fines for being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye? Dilly, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. A kid? Another kid? Ah. The one who's responsible for the storm and, you know, the ghost. <gasps> There's the spooky element. Ghosts? What? Now I'm interested. Silence. Alright then. Okay. Uh, the books. What were you 
actually reading. Is this your to read pile? Oh, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. Okay, fair point. A plant. From a certain angle, it looks like a dually has crazy hair. Not from my point of view. Probably from a lower one, maybe. So, Officer Dooley, do you have any thoughts? I thought you found owning books suspicious. It is. That's why I'm not owning. I'm borrowing them. What kind of secret stuff are you reading that you can't get it from your local library? Ooh, maybe people just like having their own books. Maybe it's a germ issue. Germs? Oh, sorry. Germs? <laughs> you really will believe in anything Hollywood tells you. Okay. Germs are a joke. So, dear librarian, what were you saying about ghosts? And the place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual. Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame. He's the only one here, often enough, suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Maybe he has a shitty parents like the kid from the case before do or else i'll call a pair of old bell priests and or a questionable ghost busting startup to come fix this hmm ghostbusters what books did dooley borrow had rules to rave to roswell new mexico where the aliens really experiment on us and the law what is it and do we really need it? Very important questions for a police, yes. Hey, what happened to librarian read a privilege? Not a real thing, buddy. I take it you gave up on the law book. Not enough pictures. Okay. What's that you're reading? Guy like the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. Guy oh, guy light. Okay, I understand now. Of what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. That's easy to live with, isn't it? I am at the part where it's her prom night. And he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward. And now it's on at night. Oh no. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Am I the inverted vampire? I can relate to this a lot. Sounds interesting. What? It sounds awful, detective. Maybe she likes it. Why would you judge? If you need anything else, I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. It's an elevator, an office. Let's go to the office first. Codes. Whose codes are these? Looks like some of these codes have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. I like what how you're thinking, Popo. I mean, Officer Dooley. You know, for evidence. And I did. I got the button. Is this an evidence? I do not know. Will it come in handy? Probably. Code track. Then there is a bin. Roses are red, violets are blue, your loaning rights are revoked, due to books overdue. Very nice. Photocopier, an old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does! When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your bot for the records. I think it's a misuse. Everyone's bot? Just mine, now that I think of it. That's the price of working out, I guess. Show those buns! Calendar. I got this for Doris last time. I had to get out of paying fees. I'm gonna have to up the ant this time. Guy light. Oh, it's guy light. Why is she looking weird? Did she put her face here? She did, didn't she? A lamp. Another busted bulb. Even the lamp is flickering. Yeah, everything is flickering now that I see it. It's the same rhythm though, it could be electricity issue. 
Never know when I'll need to cut something in half. Or lazy approximation of half. Approximation of half. So I got a scissor. Okay, yeah. The very soon we'll be able to start a store with office supplies. A computer. The computer seems to be broken. It's not working, it's a whole lot. So they can store more books in it. So it doesn't work as a computer anymore, does it? Okay, back to the lobby then. Mm, and elevator. An old elevator? Where's the staircase? Yeah, I would use the staircase if the lights and electricity is uh, not up to date. We have none. There was a fire and ironically the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. It is ironical. Horror. Okay. Reading room hobby. Sci-fi and fantasy children. Reception. I mean, not fantasy children, but sci-fi fantasy. Children, right? Like reading room. Long pause. Hobby. Reception. Okay, so. Broken button. The button for the fourth floor is missing. Tetraphobia. Tetraphobia? Fear of the number four. It's quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. But the fourth floor is there, just the button is missing. Oh yeah. And we're not in China. You have all the answers, don't you? I like you, Dooley. I have a button. Right, I didn't have the skills to wire up a normal button, never mind this one. I like it. I like it. Instead of just being written, it doesn't work here or something. It actually has an explanation. I like it. What if I put scissors here? Let's call that plan B. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Okay. So we are at the reception. Let's go to the second floor, shall we? Flickering lights, another statue, a plant. Let's go with plant. What odd leaves that plant has. What? That? That's just a dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. Doris is very peculiar, isn't she? Sci-fi and fantasy, something I'm very something that is very dear to my heart. Swords and shield. Somebody's playing chess with themselves. If we lived in the medieval times, we'd be living the adventures of your dark side Barley, Bailiff and his squire Dooley. I love that. Yes. Yes, I would play it still. Fantasy books. Glum Tales of the Sad Venture. Good one. Chessboard. What a great game, eh? Yeah. Funny looking draught pieces, though. Nobody will comment on the fact that they are moving on their own. Nice armchairs. Library card. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. Fair. Yeah. Whose is it? The library card of one smug-faced Paul Conway. Alright. He's lost. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger. Then I found out that they had to go into space. No thanks. That's where aliens live. Looks like some of the rocket's aluminium is coming off. That could be useful. Metal strip? Okay, sure. And the sci-fi books? Fantastic Obit. Drowned in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. That's more detective one. I would read that. Okay. I think that's it from here. Statue. Don't blink. That would be so creepy if the statue blinked. Don't blink! Okay. What about children's section? Oh, there are some children using it. Little Devon. What about this one? The words are short and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Mm -hmm. Some entity is not answering. Or we can't hear it. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read, I read the book about books from my age range and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. It's a floating book. Well, that's not right. Neat trick. 
What magic book did you learn? Uh, oh, what magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic, it's... Nothing. Alright. Oh, you, Teddy. No, not the Teddy. You look familiar. Have I arrested you before? We've met before, Teddy. Alright, a robot. Hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities. Feeding it, robbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on their good side when the inevitable happens. Fair point. Fair point. Train. I've always loved trains and trams. Not monorails, though. Thinking they're, be, uh, they're better than everyone because they're up in the air. I took monorail when in when visiting Naha in Japan, Okinawa. It was fun. Weird feeling, but fun. Why your parents don't love you? Why is it in the kids section? I think it should be for a little bit of an older audience, but okay. Ah, Teddy's your letters A, B, C, as easy as four, five, six. Easy as one, two, three. No? No? Okay. I think it was supposed to be that song, but it came out uh, the other way around. Dinosaur. The dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Ooh. I was like, how can the dust be wrong? A viewmaster. A viewmaster? I loved those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. It's time like these that I miss walking the beat. Alright. Can I use it? An old film viewing toy. Yeah, what kind of film? What's there? Bad baby inside a riot. Kindergarten Kate summons the devil. Grumpy Chris hates to play. Anne and Barry face financial ruin. Why? Okay. Vent. There is a cold draft coming from this vent. It can't be good for this kid's health. It's also just above the floating book. That might be connected, right? Okay. So, Devon. Why are you talking to kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Are you sure? Okay, yeah, he's not talking. Mm, right, back to the hallway we go. In the elevator and going upstairs. Reading room and hobby. Alright. Hobby DIY. Let's do that first. But painting? Professor Theodore Library. Inventor of the library. No, nope. Not one word. Of that is true. Okay, yeah. I was like, mm. all right, okay. Hobby and DOI. Sorry, readjustment something. Okay, so hobby books. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your ne nethers sustainable. Sure. Nether portals. I think you can fill jam jars with. Volume 3. Jam jars. Jam jars beings. Whittling dice out of large dice. Detected the inspection in inspectioning investigative role playing in the world of Dark Side. <gasps> oh. Oh. I think that might be connected. DIY books. So this is hobby and DIY. How to di how to do DIY yourself. Isn't DIY explaining that already? Okay. I'm really good at DIY. Get my sister to do it for me. Nice. This one's called Building Mediocre Mysteries by the Spooky Doorway team, whoever they are. These, I'm pretty sure, are developers of this game. Nice. DIY, because you're too broke to pay someone else to do it. He's. No, he's probably not paying his sister. 
Paintings. Wait a minute. There's these are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Money Bags and his deep pockets. Rich enough that he can pay child artists for an original works, this guy. Jeez. Wait a minute, these are oh yeah yeah. He looks like he's jumping. You jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. Fair point. There is a glue. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's not duct tape, but it could be useful. Oh, with duct tape, I could imagine we could do quite a lot, even though I don't know what the problem is right now. But in general, yeah. Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids bending over the books. Okay. Fair point. Alright, so it's just for the ambience. And a reading room. Oh, there is somebody here. Well, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Uh, hello, my name's Rexa. I'm here to study the strange goings on. I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Oh, uh, um, sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff on purpose. Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. When in doubt, Google it out. Well, let me know if you found anything. Alright. Chalkboard. Who doesn't need chalk in chalk in the 21st century? Most people? Fair point. So there, you couldn't have paint brushes with actual paint, but you have chalkboards and chalk? It's stupid. It dirties up everything so bad. What are you reading? I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. I mean, you know what I mean. It's just jokes. Haha. <laughs> Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. So, ghost hunting. Eh, detective? Um, that's classic. Because there is a whole bunch of eerie mumbo jumbo going on here. So you notice them. I'm majoring in the occult at TLU. You can do that? I thought all that stuff was banned. Somebody has to catalogue and ban it all, detective. Fair point, yeah. It's all fairly hush hush. So what does one study with occultism? Whatever you want. I went with computer science so I wouldn't be studying two impractical subjects. Good call, Raxa. From experience I can tell you Oh, I can tell you, a dear call doesn't pay much. Right. Okay. Oh, I thought there would be more. Alright. Let me just skip through it. I would say that's it. Microfilm room. This light is not on. Oh, I should ask Officer Dooley questions every time we're in some kind of room. I forgot about that. Let's ask him now. Do you think there is such thing as megafilm? Because there are microfilms? Oh boy. Maybe let's not do that. Feeling cabinet. Why would anyone have so many feelings that they need a cabinet to store them in? I can't answer you that question. Microfilm, microfilm, reader. It's broken. If I want to look at any microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. Do I? Do I want a microfilm? Box of microfilm, wait. Maybe this answers my question immediately. Hmm. It's radiating energy, like Raxa said. I think that may be a clue. Possibly. There's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Oh. So I have to use something up then. Metal strip, what would I need it for? Maybe we should start crafting. Plan B. Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that. Probably, yes. Most likely, no. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, ah, ah! You didn't say the magic word. Looks like I need to figure out the password. Or maybe you could just ask. Okay. There is a microfilm, but we can't 
do that. Maybe we can... Why don't we try something else first? Because this is broken. And glue doesn't repair it. Interesting. Alright. I think that's it from here. And if we try to take the elevator, we can't go up. So reception is the only way to go. Maybe we can get the password? Yeah. Your elevator is broken. There's no button for the fourth floor. Yep. I hope you don't want to read any horror books. Well, I would like to be able to go there. Oh, well then. Sorry, I guess. Sus. Sus! Can I have the internet password, please? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need that password for my investigation. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized, so no. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Can I glue you to your freaking desk, please? Want this? Oh, we talked about this, yes. Okay, slightly getting stuck, so let's try to figure something out. I would like to go here and ask Officer Dooley what he thinks. I never understood this section. How can something be fiction and science? I don't know what to do with here sometimes. Get me a raise? That would be nice. But that's a fair question. I like it. Can we play chessboard? No. Children's. Nobody, not one person needs kids to be talking like there is somebody invisible with them. Yes. Creepy. DIY. Let's see why we're sticking around here, detective. You couldn't have said that when I picked up the glue? No? Sometimes I feel like you don't see me as anything more than a hell heart sidekick. Maybe this is the truth. Maybe you should swallow it. A truth pill. You look uncomfortable, do we? It's the whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? Can I not read anywhere else? Does the room itself read? And if so, what does it read? You have a special mind, Dilly. Chief Scotty says. That's why she assigned me to your department. Because we're all special, aren't we? Right. And that is it. Can I try to get the... Password. The magic word. Unless she's not. Okay, old library. Let's see. The film is too big. It's a square peg, round hole situation. Can I cut it? <gasps> well, I've destroyed some historical material. Let's hope there was a point to this. Okay, yeah, we moved on. Well, it fits. Let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. Okay. Okay, so we moved something on. Spider moths do it again. Do it again. Sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burned down yet another stadium. I like the sound. Click clack. Major staff cuts at City Library. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Doris is all, but that seems a bit unfair. It means very few people work here. Oh, yeah. Just Doris now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. She's volunteering? Oof. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Should I make a note of that? Seems very peculiar. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. 
left to my left might be Okay. <gasps> Is this the password? I shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I may have just summoned something. Oh, all right. Crackpot the what? Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead that walks among us. That walk among us. All right. I remember this case. What the hell? Oh. Um. Hello. Who are you and how did you get here? Alistair Crowley. That sounds familiar somehow. I am that which can never be unseen. The ooze from your nightmares. The knower of the unknown. Right, that's not very helpful if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay then, I'll bite. Tell me, oh knower of the unknown, what's going on here? I... Uh, don't rightly know. Right. But I do know that the coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room, one that holds a vast power and treasures. No doubt that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the other lies within. The others? The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... You know what? I don't even know how to explain this. It's not a ghost then. Hello, Crowley. What was all that again? Yeet's secret room. Map power within. Are we cool, bro? We're cool. Yep, cool, cool. So it was not a password. Okay. <coughs> Zyrix! Hello, how are you doing? I would figure out the password, but she's not letting me. So I found the ghost. Will I st Oh, through that we'll see different people. There is Yeats. WB Yeats. Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one? Another? Ah, another spirit. Yes. Then with your question, you have answered my own. Huh? Forgive me what I wish to know if you have seen or on your travels. That's Scoundrel Crowley. I'm okay, detective. Very good. We're solving another case. This one, getting a little bit spookier with some ghosts. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat. The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere. He mentioned the hidden room. Yes, but on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just wanted not a word more, sir. Not a word more. And I say that you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crowley lurks, awaiting the slip of my tongue. Okay. Anywhere else? Yes, Gale. Are you an author too? I don't recognize you. Gale Plinkman. Aye, but not like you on Toff's oh, hard, hard accent. Aye. I can't do accents. I can barely speak English. But not like you tons. Toffs. Like you on Toffs with the literally fiction. I wrote useful stuff like house wiring and had to do plumbing. Helpful. Thinking of things in the elevator? With right gear, I could, eh? I need a, a new button, in mind. Can you have this one? What's all this for? Could you use this button to fix the elevator? I can't, but won't do nothing. Needs to be conductive to make circuit work. Can I connect them? This should make the button conductive. <gasps> I'm smart. Okay, now give it to her. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. Looks like it'll do the job. Gives a few minutes to pop in place. Okay, progress. Perfect. Love that. You're good. I'm enjoying your voice. Thank you. Thank you. This series are meant to be just, yeah, kind of listening. I really am glad that you're enjoying. Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help. It's... Oh, sorry. Happy to help. It were fun doing something useful again. Okay, there is the button. 
perfect. Should we go to another... Yeah. For more people. And here are... Oh, there's Pratchett! Oh, hey! Big fan of your work! Thanks. Not to you. Yeah, not you. Oh. Yeah, Pratchett, hello! I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Adams, okay. Okay. I like that. I know these are authors. I think you should read this one. I read one... I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? It's a story about this kid who can see the people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Said the ghost. Cute. Cute. I need blighted. I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rotters. The lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean the others. Occultists, horror writers and DIY fanatics. Horrors. The lot of them. She doesn't like them, huh? Alright. And the reception? Nobody here. Okay. So let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about the office? Okay, clean. Good, good, good. Let's go to the horror section. Oh look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. He can't see them, right? Okay. Book card. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like how to cook a dinosaur if you ever catch one. The internet and other fads. Architecture of the Mind by Sarah Bellum. And MMO Accountancy. Be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Perfect. Window. Looks like you can't get to the roof through here. Thankfully it's locked. I'd rather not go back out in the storm. What was that sound? Sus. Horror. Horror section. <gasps> is it Poe? Yeah, it is! Edgar Allan Poe! Okay. B by the mere moustache. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. And there's Lovecraft. Oh! Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play on the common cliches. Your penny dreadful lacks true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan, fraud, undead trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Ugh, you're an infuriating man. I love them. I'm a fan of both. What's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was that childish blighted woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I care not for this, for his current zeitgeist. My words are vastly superior. He's being such a child. I'm clearly the greatest horror writer. Quite hard to read nowadays, but I understand. I tore apart the minds of a generation with a, with my atheistic horror. With your atheistic rubbish. What a roast. Right, I'll have you made. Come at me, you sticky, sti sickly twerp. You two, stop it, or I'll pull you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. Or maybe a vacuum? You started it. I mean, I never... It was you and yours. I don't care who started it, I'm putting a stop to it. Wait right here. And not a peep. Okay. Alright, these are one hell of an atmospheric fire hazard. I thought these were fake. But okay. KLAB. Ooh. Hmm. From access to zero oxygen, murderous primer. The dread person murders. Is it not uh, with the AB? Calvin ate a cop. Everyone's guilty. 
it kills. Okay? Lemons for every meal. Horrific. Alright. What do we do now? The underwhelmer. Can I glue you? Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that. Can we? Old library card. Can I borrow a book? Just quit. The King Boxing Cult. Murder. Pain giver. Oh, creepy bookshelf. This is one creepy looking bookshelf. Secret room? There is an exit, nothing else here it seems. Guys, do you have an idea as what we should do? There is an old library card that we have and some glue. I don't know where we should use that. Hmm. Kopsha just peeked in. I could see... Ah, Going through the living room. Uh, they're still having a session. I don't think this will take on much longer though, so maybe he will be able to join us full time. So I can tell that you have a few, some kind of disagreement. Try to talk with people about the perfect society. That's a harsh topic. That's a big topic, I would say. I met your friend, Yeats. He says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says he won't into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. I need something to do. Something to read. Why not use that computer to go online? Two words. Safe search. <laughs> oh, right. Maybe I can find some kind of uh, workaround? Please. Just stay here and don't do anything. What kind of workaround I can provide you? He wants something to read is what he wanted? It truly is, yeah. Har big topic, harsh topic. I don't think there's anything such as perfect society. One can dream though. Can I just grab you any book? So your government is broken. Hmm. What would he want? Should I borrow some kind of book? Why is the window on the... Oh, onto the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not? Why? For health and safety reasons. Fair enough. If you need anything, I'll be here unless I am not sure. This computer is not working. How would I... I think that guy light... Okay, knock off of Twilight for sure. Guy Light is for sure the password. It just doesn't let me use it. And this is just bot copies. Not bad, but boot. Uh, reading room will be horror. Yeah, I know that. I know. I know. I know. Beep! No. Hmm. Cannibal Carnival. So I can't read any of these. I can't bring any of these books. And that would be nice. Places to die in. Places to not die in. Perfect. What's the series? The Year of Blood. Vivian's Hatchet. I would read half of these, to be fair. I've never been up here before. Because of the broken elevator? Because it's scary up here. Fair point. What do you think? What do I think? No. Do you want to sniff it? No. Do you want to sniff it? No. Worth trying. So what does the other dude want? Oh! Was I saying something? Leave me alone. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's click. 
they are non-responsive. Okay. And again, can't take any of these books. Warring. What should I do then? What do you want? Let's see what we can find online. Yeah, but I can't. Hmm. Something to do, something to read. He wants something unsafe to read. What can we get him? Do you have any ideas? Why do I feel like the weirdest stuff will be in the kids section? Excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? He and that Poe fellows won't stop fighting over which one has the more frightful book. So this is... okay, what's happening? I like Lovecraft. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. bickering. I just shan't. How am I meant to stop those two fighting? That's not my concern. You want this book? You stop the fight. There's got to be a scarier book than there is around here. Surely that would stop their bickering. Around here? Maybe it is your fault? It's quite scary. Learn to count to 107, the largest number known to science. Guide to baby safe shots. Okay, that is a little disappointment. These are all pretty scary. Can I have some? Can you see the ghost too, kiddo? Ghosts? What nonsense are you feeling this had with detective? I see them. They're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris, and she's only interested in reading the most dreadfulest books ever written. <gasps> Doris, we're going. Going. Oh, and yours is 87. It's still really fabulous. Awesome. Thank you for upping my score too, Leonis. Uh, was that you? No, this is Roxa. Doris is kind of scarier than the ghost. I get the kid. Doris. Doris is the receptionist, the librarian? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, yeah, I mistook her for Roxa. I'm very bad with names. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books? Can I sign up for one? Um, no. I'm too busy reading my book to help. Sorry. Dooley, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. I bet you wish you'd let me make a deal now, huh? Well, I do have a card of one Paul. Here we go. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to, bo to borrow books. Like this one? Like this one, yes. Okay. But not this one, it's not yours. That's not even your face on it. Um, I need the scissors back to do the same thing that Doris did here. Oh, photocopier? I really don't want to put my face on here because there was a bot here. I really need a picture of myself. The things I do for this job. Okay. Oh, that's a very nice photo. Okay. So I want to compare it with this one. Compare with that? I feel like I'm back in kindergarten art class. Sticky photo. And put it on here. This is going to be the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all my years as a cop. Yeah, should work. Fake library card. It, it looks... Mm, well, great. I'd like to put on that book. Borrow. Borrow. 
Oh, well then, here you go, Paul. Paul, his name is, my name is Paul. Like it says on the card, my card. Paul, Paul, Paul. Trashy novel, perfect, okay. We're picking up the speed, great. Okay. Here you go. There's a trash no Why did it have a banana on it? Okay. Just hand it out with confidence, Paul McQueen. It'll work. Yeah. Just slide it. No problem. Fake it till you make it. And with a fake ID, you're 50% already done. <laughs> I don't want that. It reeks of horridness. What do you mean? Milo Stevenson's reverse vampire novel, Guy Light. Even holding it makes me ill. It has a hand holding a banana, so... Oh, no. Twilight had that cover with an apple. <gasps> oh, that's why. Oh, it's brilliant. Sorry, I'm not good with that. Fake it till you make it. Just make it. Okay. Fair point. Just make it. Just do it. Do it. Mm. Do you want this one? Plan B? Nobody wants this shit. Why need to be fake? Uh, no, I understand it a little bit differently. Sometimes you're just trying to... It's not about being fake. You just fake it and never make it instead. Perfect. <laughs> no, it's just sometimes it's believing so hard that it's impossible for you to, to do something, to be something. And then you just... Oh, I hate it, but you manifest it. Oh no, Oh, I feel bad with myself. Uh, what do I do with the book then? Nobody wants to read it. Or maybe I put it wrong here? No, take it. What else first? Who wants this smut? Who wants it? A child. No. Oh, it's more terrifying than anything. They? Is this my book? No, it's not. What is it? The most horrific novel ever written. And it's not written by either of you. <gasps> what is that? Teenage girl, blah, blah, blah. Reverse vampire, blah, blah, blah. Love story. <gasps> it sounds terrifying. Its mere existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning his, in his grave. I hope the poor chap doesn't know. Perfect, okay. Well, they're gone, but now what? I guess I could tie up some of the other ghosts' loose ends. Yep. Make it because you enjoy it. The person's journey instead of being busy faking. Not fucking. Okay. Faking. Okay. No, not here. Sorry. It's good that the library isn't that busy. They weren't talking. Children's section, yeah. I've gotten them to agree on the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. I daren't see why you'd want this vile thing, but I did promise. Here. Lovecraftian novel. Ooh, you ruined the kid's illusion, detective. She's still staying there. A Lovecraft novel, sorry, not Lovecraftian. What if I don't enjoy anything? Can I fake until I enjoy something? Okay, good question, good question. Uh, mm, mm, mm. You still wanted to read. Maybe you'd like Lovecraft more. Let, no! Oh. Should I return it to the shelf? You may have the book, sir, but I shall never tell you how to enter the dark place where the heebie-jeebies lay in wait. Not while Crowley skulks around seeking the fairy info. Okay. I shall find it myself. 
Can I just put it back here? Lovecraft. Should it be somewhere here? My gut's telling me that I shouldn't put this book back yet. I'll hold on to it until I know more about the hidden area Yeats and Crowley mentioned. Hmm. Now I remember. Happy Friday the 13th! Yeah! Guess we should help Yeats. Hmm. How can I help you, sir? Converse while Crowley lurks, awaiting a slip of my tongue. Can you go away? He likes tormenting this guy, though. I'm most bored here. Need something to do, something to read. What kind of workaround do you need? If you don't want to read, the workaround would be the online thing, but I don't know the password. And I don't know how to figure it out. I was so sure, so sure it was Guylight. Will she be convinced now to tell me the password, please? No. Ah, oh, I wanted to ask again, just in case she changed her mind. Uh, so am I missing something? I have a book. Where would she have some passwords? Mm. This computer is hollow, it doesn't work, photocopier no, code track, but hole. Nothing in here. Silence says shh. She doesn't help. He doesn't help. Nothing in here. What about the boys? No, still silent. Should I just find a secret room? How would I find a secret room? I would just try to pull one of the swords. Wait for something to open. What if there is something that I can pull? Because the... Oh, no, 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 sorry. The ghosts were covering it up. Vet's Revenge. Stab fist. What can I do here? No. Hmm. It is a creepy bookshelf. I can't put it back in. How do I help this dude? Tomorrow the world implodes. Quirky killings. Very nice. Ninja zombies and the other terrible crossovers. Ooh. Yeah. Nothing there. So that was a um, dead end. Do you have anything new, Raxa? You mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How did you get past the internet blocks? Now you're telling me? Up to something naughty, detective? Me? No, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite well protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would hack into steal her unpublished fun fiction mm. had a wattpad password but i figured out the admin password so i can bypass the block is it guy light want me to give it to you so you can use it too yes please what is it one two three four close enough Close enough. Now Crowley should be able to browse to his heart's content. I'll let him know. Listen, Crowley. Listen. Okay. I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. 
you may not want to stick around for this. Are you gonna watch porn in the library? Oh, shut up. Right, I'll leave you to your business, so shut the door on the way out. Sticky business, okay. Oof. Yeats. Did I sense? Yes, the beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is maybe not the term I'd use. Come again, sir? No, 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 don't worry about it. No, never mind. Just don't go into that room if you can avoid it. As you suggest. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I'll show you what I can. There is a place hidden behind the door, the horror section of the fourth floor. I know it. The source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it, cronk, and it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear that, Dolly? Hear what? Oh yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using the one of the books on the L section. In the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? Sure. Okay, easy peasy. Let's go. Aura. Yes. Hello section. The book Yeats mentioned is missing. I didn't know you were a fan of Lovecraft. Huh? You're looking for the Lovecraft section. A bit too godless for my tastes. A Lovecraft novel, you say? Ha! Here goes nothing. Okay. I came up with it earlier. I want my prize. I want to be a but 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 you're smart. But okay. Fine. That seems to be. That seems to fit with a curious clicking noise. <gasps> pull the lever crank! Right, we pull this and. <gasps> a secret room appears. Well, there's the hidden door. Yeats and Crowley were talking about. Creepy doorways are a recurring motif I'm not too fond of. Let me guess. Staying here to cover me again? Please don't get ambushed again, please, please, please. You got it in what? You got it in one detective. Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. Precisely. Okay. Do we need a candle? No. No. Just straight, straight there. What? The, what is all this? Magica, Alistair Crowley's guide. Crowley's guide to the popular wizard game. I'm not doing anything. I'm not um, borrowing any light bulbs anymore. Okay? Nothing on me. That doesn't look legal. No! Officer. No, officer. Listen. Everything here is absolutely legal. 100% clean. You can check me. I have nothing on me. I actually don't have any items. So. Diagnostic guide to goals and ghosts. Oops. Rituals from Modern Witch. Rituals. Love that. These are all contraband occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Hmm. Exposed wiring. Well, this is illegal. Those loose wires seem to run to the roof. So we will need to get, get to the roof, I think. Normal library fair, this. Hmm. I got this call. Do you miss one, Shelley? Shelley? So what are you doing here? Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to the eldritch energies emitted from this book. Mary Shelley. Do we know Mary Shelley? Shelley? I like spooky books and electricity. I even lit candles to up the spook factor. Oh, very good job. The periodic tables of secret magic elements. Ooh, a crawl space. Mary smiling. No, not this one. What a strange thing to find here. Oh no. Oh no. Do you know what I thought? That we will find a child that crawled into the vent. Ah. Oh. Love Shelley, the mother of horror writing. <gasps> I need to pick up my reading. I got so focused on to Junji Ito lately, which is not reading, it's manga, but yeah. 
God damn. She always needs to be mentioned in this kind of context. Okay. Okay, good to know. The, necrom <laughs> the Necronomicon, a Sacropean cookbook. It's not a cookbook. Kids, don't, don't get fooled. 101 ways to get ritual stains out of your puppets. Yeah, cool. Blood is hard to get off, okay. She's now from... Oh! The funny thing is I haven't read the original Frankenstein, but I've read the Junji Ito adaptation recently. That's something. But that's good to know, thank you! Small hole, I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down to see where it lands. Do we want to get the baseball cap? No? Okay. Is it this call? I hope this works. Thunk, 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 crash. Okay. Now to find where that landed. Hopefully without having caused any damage. Children's section is ruined. Children are crying, one child. Still. Uh, children's section. And there is the skull, yeah. What's all this noise? I can't hear myself read! So, kid, what do you know about the other side of the vent? Uh, I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring. I found all these neat new books. Ah, uh, it's your cap, isn't it? But the one I read, read was scary and I ran off. And the ghost arrived, but I like him, because now I have friends. See? He meant no harm. Troublemaker! Arrest him! Breaking and entering into your room of illegal books. Oh. Let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if you get rid of the ghost and find him somewhere else to go once in a while. You can join me in the blood wolves, whatever that is. Blood wolves? The mayor stopped paying the dip 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 tax. So we had to change from scouts. Uh, you okay with that kid? Sure. That's great, but back to the, to the task at hand. We need to stop energy flowing into the building and into that book. You'll need to get to the lightning conductor on the roof. Here, have the key. Dooley, we're going to the roof. But it's raining outside. Ah, gosh darn it. I like the not Barney on the right. Not Barney? Oh yeah, totally not Barney. Nice. I'm pretty sure we didn't have Barney in Poland. So good catch, I just thought he had a dino. But now that you mentioned, definitely Barney. Definitely. Is that the skull thing? I said that was dangerous. Thankfully nobody got hurt. You blighter? That could have killed me. Except that you're already dead. Police brutality, that's what this is. Ah, oh, shush, you old hag. And now it was a horror? Yeah, a roof key. Here we go. Suppose I'm already ducked out of one room in this case. I knew I played that card too soon. Gosh darn it. You did, buddy. You did. So we're going together. What will you say? That's why I end up with, an, with overdue fees. Every time I bring a book back, I end up on the roof in the rain. Who wouldn't avoid that? What? I get up to adventures. I get up to adventurous adventures when you're not around, you know. I never. I don't just cease to be, cause Frankie McQueen's having a night in. But Dark Side Detective. It should be called the Cold Officer. I'm going to climb the ladder now. There's a lot of toxicity here, I can tell. Probably for the best. Right, alright. More of that wiring from the secret room, at least the roof. Alright, let's go up. Do you need me to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Maybe. Yes. Ooh, I would be scared of that too. Don't touch it. Junction box. Balcony. Skyline. Sometimes I wonder if the people of Twin Lakes. Not Nix. 
I'm not sure I'm afraid of Twin Lakes sometimes. Now, Twin Lakes know how often we save their bacon. Beacon? I've never saved any actual bacon. I got a cat named Bacon out of a tree once. An example to us all, duty. What do we do? <gasps> Bioshock puzzles, yes! So what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible? Looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to the disarray. Oh! I guess I should break that circuit. Then wire the aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere to go. So what? Ah, oh no. Alright. Alright. That is broken. The connection has been broken. Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it, am I not? It should be first. I don't think I'm doing it right, am I? I already screwed up. Gosh darn it! That's smart. This one needs redoing too. Okay. Brain hurts. This one was good. That was going alright. Let's get back to the times that it was going alright. When it was going all right. Now I want this either here or this here. But can I do it? Do I have the strength to do it? Puzzles hard. Puzzles hard brain. second. I can figure it out. Just need more time than the usual person would. Am I getting stuck in the same thing? Yes. Doesn't help. The puzzle's bad. Still bad. Mm. That's silly. I need this here. Back here, okay. I feel like I'm overcomplicating things. Might be the case. took a while but I did it that's what matters ouch my hand look detective the storm is dying out imagine that 
Okay, we should be able to close the book now. Okay, anything else here? I don't think so. Now that the sky is cleared up, it's quite a nice night. Do you see? Yeah, nothing to be worried about. Back inside. To the horror room, spooky doorway. And close the book. Should be all good. Yeah? They never even spoke. Hmm. Goodbye. Trunks filled to detective. Though I don't see why we had to take all those books. Dully, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. We've an agreement then, Doris. You don't fine me for having the books. I don't sue the kid for entering the vault. I go back to business, sons hunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ah, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devon. End case closed. Okay, perfect. Another one in the books. That was terrific. I really, really did enjoy that. I struggled with that one a little bit, uh, but I did so with myself and I'm very, very proud. So, yeah. Looking forward to the next one. That will be in the future meeting slash stream slash episode so guys thank you so so much for joining me today i hope you did enjoy the game and we will be picking that up next week so yeah for my beautiful vod watchers thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one